Hello students, let us go through a few sample papers with answer keys. There are about uh, five uh, sample papers over here with uh, the answer keys. The students are requested to use it for practice and check their own answers. Very first paper that is used over here is the CBSE sample paper with the answer keys. The literature answers are worked out. I, I request the students to go through it. But there are certain areas where I would prefer that students use their discretion when picking the information from the sample papers. Reading comprehension is definitely for 20 marks. Writing skills comprise of 10 marks, grammar 10 marks, so that is 20 marks. This is the first part. Part A is uh, uh, reading, writing, and 10 marks from the literature MCQs will make it part A. And then writing 10 marks and literature 30 marks will make it part B. Total it is for 80 marks. And remaining 20 marks will be sent from school to the CBSE which is based on your internal assessments, speaking, listening, and notebook. This is a sample paper released by the CBSC for 2020 and 21. The sample paper was shared with the students. Now this is shared along with the answers, the right answers given over here and worked out for the students so that the students who have not scored very well, they can go through the answer key with the given question together and maybe re-attempt the question paper. Question number two. You can see the tabulated information is given. You may pause the video and read as you have been doing. Remember to write the question number in the margin, the sub question number also in the margin, but the option literal and the answer should go in the text. Do not just write the letter and leave it. You can see the passage, how big is the passage given over here and the MCQs are based on the given passage. You may pause the video wherever you feel you need to stop and read. Again, you may pause the video. Grammar questions, look at the comic. You may not be able to read the comic, uh, it is not very legible. The questions which you are not able to read uh, clearly, you may skip that question. Or if you want me to enlarge the view. It's not visible here. This is the subjective part. This is for five marks. You have attempted this question paper.
it is advisable to reattempt it and compare your response now. What was your response uh, for mock one? And if you were to reattempt this paper after seeing the answer key, after going through the guidelines and the feedback, reattempt this paper to see how well you can respond to the questions. This is the answer key for the marking scheme that is part one and the remaining guidelines for the subjective questions. These certain suggestions, value points for the answers. Remember the advice to use the writer's name, the type of prose, short story, one act play, or poem, and then the title in single quotes, followed by a strong verb, and then complete the sentence. Begin your literature answer with that and then use it is evident that it can be cited that it can be deduced that only when you use such phrases your answer literature answer becomes a, an analytic answer do not re-narrate the story because re-narrating of the story will not be accepted textual evidence is a must that is citations is a must now, this is the sample paper. This is actually CBSE board paper of 2020. The students are requested to attempt this paper. It is uh, modified as per the uh, reduced syllabus, the latest CBSE sample paper for board examination 2020 and 21. That means the portion, the questions which were based on the past uh, the portion that is deleted those questions have been removed and certain alternatives have been placed so that you can use this as a past sample paper pause the video and try attempting this paper also check against time and accuracy you may pause the video the answers you may check your answer the answers are given over here after attempting check your answers instantly and then go to the next passage and also make a note of it how much time you have taken to attempt that one question if you've taken more than seven minutes and between seven or nine it is acceptable Beyond that, that means your reading speed is slow. Read the information from the table. Interpret the information. Combine it with text. You can see this, uh, it is written in Hindi, it is uh, rupees. Pause the video, read the questions, get the options, respond appropriately. Get the answers, self evaluate yourself. Pause the video and check your answers, and then proceed to the literature question. Read the passage. Get the questions. Select the options. If you need to go back to the passage, you can pause the video, go back to the passage.
middle passage. Some sticky questions. Now look at the answers and check your answers. Let us proceed to the next. Home based question. Another poem. Questions. And now check your answers. Next, we have grammar. Read carefully. For the comic, it is suggested that if you're using your iPad, pause the video, try enlarging it. With what are you busy in finding? I'm trying to say some, I, I'm trying some new ideas. How will you play make you a scientist? How will playing make you a scientist? One day to make a scientist, I now goes for the scientists are I am just the beginning. It, uh, it is not very legible as it is a cut and paste. If you can enlarge and read it, do give it a try or else skip the question. Writing for five marks, 100 to 120 words. Letter of complaint. Formal letter, official letter. Remember one thing, the address in, should include the country also and then leave a line. And look at this, the is added. Again, the address should include country. Subject should be written after the salutation. There should be at least three paragraphs, introduction, body, and conclusion. And at the end, the name should be written in brackets and capital letters. You can see the signature, but under that name should be written again. Again, the country, country uh, in both the cases of address. Subject should come and after the, sub, the salutation and the body should be in three paragraphs. Introduction, body and conclusion. Yours faithfully, do not write both the names because these are written in the guide. If you are a boy, write the boy's name. If you're a girl, write the girl's name, the signature. Under that in bracket, in capital letters, write the name again. Next is an analytic paragraph. Graph is given, write a paragraph. Do not just say that 2016 show 15 or five, six, seven numbers or something else. Do not explain the graph. Try comparing two elements, beginning, end, middle, or maybe increased, maybe decreased. That is the aspect you are supposed to use. Use comparative language. Do not explain what is given to you visually. You need to draw comparison by interpreting the graph. Bar graph and line graph. The, the title is missing in the sample. Please so make sure that there's a title. The introductory, what is the overall, the bar graph all about? And then use the word overall, comma, and then select the aspect as you have been taught. Do not follow this sample slavishly. This is a publisher's idea, but it may not always be right.
Look at the literature answers. I would definitely not give you marks for this. It should begin with the writer's name, the type of prose. If it's a short story, write short story. Then the title and strong verb and complete the sentence. Full stop. It is evident that it is. it can be cited that, it can be deduced that. Only then this answer would fetch you marks. Otherwise, re-narrating, restating the story is not expected of grade 10. It is for those people who have never read this uh, uh, story and they want to just uh, get an idea, a quick idea. They may get an idea from it, but this uh, kind of answer responded in the CBSC examination answer script will not fetch any marks. Kindly reword it as per the guide, guidelines given by the teacher. Begin with the writer's name, type of prose, short story, title, strong verb, and complete the sentence. For example, Ruskin Bond in his short story, um, the name of the story, write the entitles, and then portrays or depicts, and continue and complete the question. Do not leave that sentence incomplete or with a full stop. It requires a verb and completion of the idea. only for guidelines the information is given over here these are value points not at the sample answer which is expected of the cbsc students this is uh, this sample is given by the publisher for the students to know what they could write as an answer but the presentation is not what is expected by the cbsc Kindly work on the presentation. It should begin with the writer's name, type of prose, title, strong verb, and the idea of the sentence, whatever is being mentioned, should be completed. We have the next sample paper over here. Sample paper three, pause the video. Pause the video and read. Type the question number and the sub question number in the margin. Option literal and the answers should be in the textual area. Check your answers. Let us proceed to the next. Pause the video. Read the text. Any 10 questions to be answered? Be very mindful of that option also. Do not go and answer over length or beyond expectation because that is not marked by the examiner. The first 10 answers, right or wrong, will be marked by the examiner. Check your answers. Pause the video and check the answers. Now read the next. You have to attempt any one. Attempt the questions. Pause the video and read. Pause the video. Now check your answers. Pause it again. Check your answers. Do 
Get the literature text, read the text, read the question, and then respond to the answer. Try viewing it wide screen. Check your answer. Grammar, read it carefully. Check your answers. The comic strip, if it is uh, not visually clear to you, kindly enlarge it if you're using your iPad. Or you may skip the comic question for practice. Check your answers. Writing for five marks for 100, 220 words. The next question with the visual impetus. Please remember after the province, the uh, country is a must, India. And over here also, the amount of travel and tourism, the is important. And again, country. Subject to be written after the salutation and it should be at least three words and it should be underlined. I am, the name should be written. I do not agree with the sample given over here. But contextually, you can pick value points from here and follow your teacher's advice. Signature is given over here, but in bracket, name should be written. Again, the next sample, country is missing from here. And uh, the country again, missing from the recipient's address. Subject to be written after salutation. And the entire uh, context should be in three paragraphs. Yours, uh, if it is to the editor, it should be closed with yours truly. Signature is there, name is missing, write the full name and after that the designation, that is the head boy to be written. Have a look at the graph carefully. Interpret the graph, but do not just say what is given visually. Try selecting one area for comparison. Maybe if you are selecting the darker bar, draw a comparison among them. If you're selecting the white bar or the men, or select among them to do a draw a comparison. If you're doing a comparison between men and women or the, in the particular year, select that area. You can select any area and draw a comparison. Look at the next example. You can see the sample, but the title is missing. Every answer and one more error is that it is written in several paragraphs, which is incorrect. The word initially, it should be written over here. Only then it is a paragraph. This surprisingly should be written over here. Only then it is a paragraph. This is a very wrong example. If the students write in this manner, in several paragraphs, it is, it is an essay and paragraph writing a, con, a format uh, marks are lost. The, this kind of answer will not be will not fetch much marks. It should be written together with every answer or the way it is uh, solved. I do not agree. And if you are using guides, definitely be very very careful with the sample that is provided to you. Answer: I do not accept the answer beginning in this manner. It should be done as per the guidelines and uh, write using the writer's name, type of prose, the title, then strong work, and complete the sentence. It is evident that it can be cited that it can be cited that it is evident that. Use these kind of phrases to respond to the answers. The subjective type of questions, so try the two mark questions, the three mark questions. Uh, try writing with it is evident that it can be deduced that the context uh, value points can be collected from here but write your own answers in the way guided to you the subjective questions which is for five marks kindly use the pee technique uh, 
point out, cite in evidence and explain. Take the value points from here, but do not write exactly the way it is given over here. Use the citations from your literature textbook. For example, pause the video and read. Pause the video and look at the visuals also. Pause the video, read the text, and then look at the visuals. Pause the video and read the questions. Let's proceed. Attempt the questions and then check your answers. Literature 10 marks. the questions carefully write the option question number in the margin sub question number in the margin option literal in the textual area and answer the textual area the grammar comic is uh, uh, readable legible by attempting is your name my name is have you come for yes pause the video and read writing section Have a look at the visual. Have a look at the visual. Pause the video. Let's proceed. One more question to go. And the answers. Check your answers. Pause the video and check your answers. And we have the next sample paper. Pause the video and read. Pause the video. Pause the video. This is the next passage. 
pause the video at this point, look at the visuals. Now read the questions. Read the questions. Let's proceed to the literature section. Literature based MCQs. Question B. Pause and read. Grammar question. If you can read the comic, read it. Not clear. Pause the video and read. Subjective questions, writing. Pause the video and read. Look at the visuals. Let us proceed to the next part. Pause the video and read carefully. Literature questions, pause the video and read. Now let us check the answers. Thank you students. This is the end of this question paper. You've seen five a set of question papers with answers and samples. Of all the answers, only the value points to be picked and kindly follow the guidelines of your teacher. Attempt these questions several times. This question papers to be attempted several times. It will definitely help you prepare for your examination. Thank you very much. If you are new on the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you are, and the students are also expected to hit like so that this question paper gets added to your liked videos and you can refer this time and again. Thank you very much for your kind attention.